Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Welcome to the online course on the entrepreneurial mindset. I will be discussing a very interesting case study, and uh, that is called Fridge. Uh, this case is uh, is based in in UAE, Dubai, and it talks about entrepreneurial marketing. And to dig deeper, it will talk about effectual marketing. And this case will help you to understand the role of effectuation, and the five principles, and how do they help in marketing your product or your service. So the story starts in 1998 when Muhammad Harib, who was a national of UAE Dubai, uh, who got his early schooling from Dubai and after he belongs to a reasonable and well-to-do family, and as he gets and completes his early school education and his parents and he decides to go and pursue a undergrad degree in the United States of America. So he shows his sort of engineering and as he reaches and starts his degree, soon he finds out that mathematics and physics and chemistry is not his cup of tea. And as he got a very low grade, he decides to switch and he moves on into a degree in Mars. And I think that was a great, great step which he took. Rather than sticking to what he never liked, he moved on what he felt he was passionate about. So during this degree and as he moved through these, one of his course was Animation 101. And during this course, he was asked to conceive and conceptualize an idea of a cartoon which could relate to his culture. And as he looked into his cultural heritage, he was surprised to find out that the Arabs had no cartoons. And the Japanese and the Chinese and the Americans and the Europeans had their own cartoons, but we don't have any cartoon which we can relate to. So that uh, question and the assignment to find some superhero from the Arab culture made him go and see, reflect, read and talk. So out of that assignment he came up with a six page study and which covers four old grandmothers. And as he, studied, as he studied and discussed more about the Arab culture, he found out that like 70, 80, 100 years ago, Dubai was a fishing, fishing town. And the men used to go out for fishing for days and weeks and the grandmothers, they were the ones who were in charge of the whole, whole activity. They were taking care of the kids, the households, purchasing, cooking. And that had their own sort of culture, their own terminology. And so as he read and knew about it, the importance of grandmothers, he came up with very interesting cartoons uh, of four Emirati women. And as he completed his degree with the passion and love of animation, drawing, designing of cartoons and movies, he came back. And his vision was to go and start his start as a freelancer, an entrepreneurial free spirit. But as he tried to find out an opportunity, he couldn't find one. He got disappointed with the idea and eventually joined the Dubai Media City Marketing Department. Why did the marketing department hire him? Maybe he has a foreign degree, the US degree, communication skills, and basic sense regarding promotion and media. So that landed him into that good place and where he was able to develop his spirit in hand and network and understand how the media city was working. And as he was working one day, and he had posted these cartoons on the wall, and his CEO passed by and he looked at those cartoons and he said, hey, what a beautiful design. Who made those? What are these depicting? And as Harib told him the old story, he said, hey, why don't you pursue it? Go on and pursue in your spare time and find out an opportunity. So that gave him a push on the back. And with this, he started thinking what to do. So what would be the next idea which would be coming into your mind? If you have some basic idea, basic design and what you are asked to go and proceed. 
So you see, he does not have a BBA and MBA degree, no base business sort of formal education, but he has common sense. He has been working in the media city for a while. So the first question, what you think would come into his mind is, I need to answer some questions. And I need some questions to be answered. And uh, the first question is that I have a product, that I have a product, is that product sellable? Is that product sellable? Is this, what type of design do I need to refine the design? The shape, the color, the cloths. He wanted to test it, whether it is my, my bias, my biasness coming in, or it is something which will be liked by people. And I need to need an information, what will convince the investors to come in? I need to know something, what makes them convinced? And I need to know what will convince the studio owners. So these questions, something like that, about the product, the service, the investors, the studio distributors, started coming into his mind. And he started thinking what to do, where to get that information. So you need to reflect on that and try to find out where to get that information. What shall we do?